this is right here, EDD spending California, residents fight financial distresses and employment agency troubles continue, right? There's many stories in this article. Uh, there's been a lady, this lady right here, she, she's a worker, but she hasn't been able to get her uh, unemployment benefits because she's been taking care of her child, right? The EDD, uh, the, uh, there was the, um, Biden has made it easier for the PUA to actually um, get approved by people who actually um, taking care of kids. So that's one of you. Um, and working, maybe you should give it a try. You should go ahead and call them because maybe you could apply now, right? But it says right here, state lawmakers flooded with pleas for help, right? She actually took her time to actually talk to one of the um, state lawmakers. And she, what she's been trying to do is propose a waiver of forms for the EDD to actually help out, right? So in other words, they're pressuring the EDD to help out all these people. And the EDD might be um, involved in a lawsuit and might be get might even get penalized or uh, might be in trouble with the state for not giving the EDD money benefits on time, right? So they're pressuring it to do it on time, and if they don't, they might get charged or something might happen, okay? But it says right here, unemployment barriers uh, leave billions of dollars in relief untapped, which is uh, which is obviously people who are trying to apply. There's a lot of money still available for those people. Uh, so they're trying to disperse it um, accordingly and right away, right? It also says here in this article, step, uh, children step into the help parents navigate the EDD labyrinth, right? So if you're one of those people who have trouble with EDD, put in your application, reading it, it's in English, and you only Spanish speaker. Remember, I also do Spanish videos, so subscribe, watch the videos, because I do it in Spanish, right? So people can understand. Now, if you're one of those people who are like maybe a 68-year-old mother or maybe um, can't use a computer, so if you're one of those people, you could possibly call, contact your library, you know, or go to uh, go to your city's uh, website and contact for help. You know, there's people that go wheels on meals to give you free food. Um, there is actual help, and they can actually help you out, read your uh, emails, and help you out with the e with the with the paperwork if you need that much help. Okay, especially if you can't, like I said, if you can't be Spanish. Um, I have Spanish videos. You could watch them, and it can help you out a lot. Okay, so check it, uh, subscribe, and watch the other videos. Right now, one million claimants have been in danger of quality disqualification. You know, if you don't you don't certify, then that means you're gonna get disqualified, right? If you get disqualified, you're gonna have to do an appeal, and the process is gonna take much longer, right? Now, like I said, uh, about 400,000 accounts has been restored, which has been great, and they, because they completed the steps about verifying their identities because they were suspended, obviously, right? Now, 20% um, of claimants that weren't able um, to verify their identity with ID.me. And I mean, they have trouble, but now that means they just have to wait even more time, right? They're saying about two months they're gonna have to wait to actually get the process verified if you're not, weren't able to do it, right? But the good news is that um, uh, if, but the, the good news is, is that you're gonna be able to resume after March 7, after you get certified, right? Like people who are approved, March 7 is a risk start for the EDD, and you will be starting, be, be able to start certifying your benefits and receiving money, right? Don't forget, if you were disqualified, you can always appeal to it, okay? I'll make a future video about it. If you're disqualified or if you're denied, how to apply, how to do an appeal for the EDD so you could get your benefits if, you, um, if, you're, um, if you're qualified, right? Okay, great. So the next article says California employment EDD addresses improvement strategies and tax confusion, okay? Like I said, she just hired 900 new staff members to help out in staff centers. Not only that, um, there's been a lot of problems with a new uh, new directives. Um, like I said, there's a lot. Um, there's, there's easier ways for people to apply to get to receive them if you truly qualify, right? There's uh, it's been uh, it's a group. It's, it's more broad. It's not only certified, more certified, um, more people with actual work and proof. But not only that. But now, if you actually were sick, you can actually get uh, approved. Okay. Wait, I think you must be working. So I'll make a future video about that. Okay. Now it says here it's been fighting fraud. The technology has been lacking. They have to update the systems, including the EDD cards. The contract is about to expire in summer, but they still have to be with Bank of America. But uh, it says right here, 90% of all unemployment percent is fraud, okay? So again, if you've been affected by fraud, if you see that someone has, has used your benefits and has using unemployment under your name and it wasn't you, you can always uh, can receive a Tech 99G with overpayment or actually unemployment benefits, obviously you don't receive them. You can always call this number again. Remember I started in the beginning? It's 1-866-401-249. Uh, 1 866 401 2849, and you could um, call them or you could fill out an um, online form to actually get um, get um, get help with your fraud. Okay, so you won't have to overpay for your taxes, you won't have to be responsible for your taxes, and you uh, and you could um, you could obviously um, get your money back, right? 
In this last article I have here, it says EDD employees quitting in droves, loses about 14% of workers since March, okay? Now, as I said, there's been 900 new involved, new um, new applicants that actually got approved and now are working for the EDD. But this is this data says right here, about 4,900 new employees has now been hired, right? So in total has 11,200 and almost all of them work from home. So you obviously know with COVID, they're able to work at home, and they're able to call and they will help you out, right? But during this same period, almost 1,600 have left the EDD, and that's 14% of his workforce, okay? And that's that's, um, that's more than, than any other job, right? So um, even though there's been a lot of people quitting, she has been hiring, and she just made 900 new uh, new employees, new new hirings. So, I mean, more help is, is on the way for you guys. But like I said, watch the video because I show you how to actually send a message to the to your account. You log into your account, you submit a message, and you get a call back within probably like a week or two, right? Because it's much faster, which is great, okay? So, I mean, uh, keep trying. Keep calling because that's the fastest way, obviously. But, I mean, you could always go, um, you could always um, watch my videos and it'll be, I hope you're a lot faster, right? Leave a comment, I'll answer right away. Now, other people leave go, uh, GoFundMe's. Um, uh, she, she's, uh, so she could receive money for emergency funds. Now, my situation, I have something similar. Like I said, I got in a car accident, plus I have another um, situation. But if you read the article below in the link, I appreciate it. And if you donate, I appreciate it more. Great. Okay, so thanks.